Okay, hello everyone. Okay, today I will uh, continue our group 17. Okay, but explain uh, the first one is the reaction of chlorine with cold NaO and hot NaO. And the second one, okay, I will explain about reaction of halide ions with aqueous silver ions followed by aqueous am ammonia. I start my lesson today by giving you a observation question here. Alright. Chlorine is bubbled through cold aqueous sodium hydroxide. Okay, then the mixture is then heated. Okay, state the observation of the above experiment. Okay, so, okay, what you understand about this question, class? Okay, actually, uh, chlorine uh, can react with uh, two conditions of NaO. Okay, the first one, chlorine... Okay, we react with cold dilute sodium hydroxide and the second one chlorine can react with the hot concentrated sodium hydroxide now i want you to uh, take a look okay our previous lesson which is uh, page 81 okay topic periodicity okay we have learned that this chlorine gas all right okay when it react with water we dissolve it in water it will form acidic solution so actually is the chlorine when dissolved in water is a acidic solution okay so when uh, chlorine gas okay is react with uh, sodium hydroxide in a 15 degree celsius which is in a cold condition so the first thing is it will form water because chlorine gas is a uh, acidic when we it dissolve in Aqueous. So we dissolve it in sodium hydroxide aqueous. So it occur the neutralization process. So first product is H2O liquid. All right, and then the another product, okay, for reaction is sodium chloride, and the second one is NaClO, which is sodium chlorate one. All right, All right. This is, okay, this proportionation reaction, which is Chlorine will simultaneously oxidize to chlorate one. Alright, so refer the below equation. Chlorine will oxidize all right, to chlorate one ion. And in the same time, this chlorine also reduce to form chloride ion. So this we call a disproportionation reaction. Okay, for sodium chloride aqueous, actually when we ionize, okay, in water, we will get sodium ion and chloride one ion because positive one and that one is negative one. Okay, let's we calculate the oxidation number in chloride one. Alright, so Cl okay, plus K oxygen is a negative two equal to, alright, the compound uh, oxidation number of compound is the total is negative 1. So, Cl is equal to okay, plus 2. Okay, so, plus 1. Okay, so, the oxidation number of chlorine in a chloric 1 uh, ion is positive 1. Okay, hence, okay, we can see from the equation that this chlorine okay, will oxidize okay, from 0. Okay. To positive one, all right. Okay, while in a reduction process, this chlorine will reduce. Okay, from zero, okay, to negative one. So this one is we call this proportionation reaction. Okay, refer to our uh, question. Okay, so chlorine is bubbled to cold aqueous NaO. So, means that, so the product form is chloride ion, chlorate one ion and water liquid. We refer to the second sentence. Okay, the mixture is then heated. Alright, so that's mean, okay, this product, okay, the mixture is referred to the chlorate one. Okay, what happen if this chlorate one is being heated? Okay, refer to the second uh, equation for the below one. Alright. Okay, when sodium chlorate one are being heated. Okay, 
Okay. So the product that will be obtained is sodium chloride and sodium chloride 5. This equation is also the disproportionation reaction. Okay, now let's we complete the answer of this question. I have done complete the answer here. Alright, so they have two chemical equation which is both are disproportionation reaction occur. Alright, now state the observation of the above experiment. Okay, since the product here is a chloride ion, chloride 1 ion, okay, and chloride 5 ion. So, since all the ions are colorless, so we can say that they have no, okay, they have no observable chain changes. So, this is the answer. Okay, the second reaction okay, of chlorine is with hot concentrated sodium hydroxide. So, here are the uh, equation involved. Okay, and we know that chlorine is uh, acidic. Okay, when dissolved in water, so when it reacts with uh, sodium hydroxide, it will get water. Okay, and then the product form is sodium chloride. Okay, and sodium chlorates 5. Alright, so... Okay, make sure that the temperature is around 70 degree Celsius. Alright, so uh, this is the equation involved. Okay, let we calculate the oxidation number of chlorine in sodium chlorate 5. So, we have sodium chlorate. Okay, here. Okay, now is when we ionize it in water, it will dissociate to form an A+. Okay, and... ClO3 minus. So here is the chlorate 5 ion. Alright. Okay, now let's calculate the oxidation number chlorine. Okay, plus 3. Okay, and O is negative 2 oxidation number equal to negative 1. Okay, then chlorine is equal to negative 1. Okay, negative and plus 6. So we get positive 5. Oxidation number. Okay, from this equation, we can see that oxidation and reduction occur simultaneously. Okay, so this chlorine, right? We can see this chlorine. It will oxidize. Okay, it will oxidize. Okay, it will oxidize to form which is from zero. Okay, it will oxidize to form positive 5 okay while chlorine also will reduce okay to form chloride ion which is from 0 okay it will reduce to form negative 1 okay so this is reduction alright so that's why we call this reaction is a uh, uh, disproportionation reaction. Okay, the next reaction is okay. We can see that this uh, sodium chloride one, okay, when it be heated, okay, it also can form sodium chloride five. Alright, so this is the another uh, reaction is how we will to get sodium chloride five. So this reaction is also this proportionation reaction which is we can see that this uh, chlorate this chlorate one okay it will oxidize okay it will oxidize okay to form chlorate five which is okay it's oxidized from positive one all right to positive five okay and then it's also occur reduction okay which is okay from uh, chloride one it will form chloride ion so it will reduce here okay which is from positive one okay it will reduce to form negative one so that's why this reaction is also called the disproportionation reaction. Finally, what is the conclusion that can we write about the reaction of chlorine with equal sodium hydroxide? Okay, now we can write 
that chlorine gas can when we react it with any hydroxide ion okay either sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide okay in 50 degrees celsius which is in a cold condition okay so we will get chlorate one right and the other product is also we will get uh, chloride ion and water okay which is sodium chloride and water all right and then the second one Okay, we react the chlorine gas. Okay, this chlorine gas, we react it with uh, hydroxide ion. Okay, either uh, potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. Okay, under 70 degree Celsius, which is under hot condition. So, we will get the chlorate 5 ion. Alright. And then the other product same which is chloride ion and water. So this is the first reaction in order to form chlorate 1 ion. Okay, this is the second reaction in order to get the chlorate 5 ion. And we also have another reaction in order to get chlorate 5 ion which is this mixture of chlorate 1 ion when it's being heated okay so we will get chlorate 5 ion and another product is chloride ion okay so this is the reaction okay of chlorine towards sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide so okay for this reaction they have three this purpose uh, signature reaction here okay one two okay and three so this three is the disproportionation reaction. Okay, the second reaction is the reaction of halides ion. Okay, with equal silver ion, which is uh, we use silver nitrate solution. Alright, usually this is uh, the test for halide. Okay, we when we want to differentiate uh, the halide, we can use the silver nitrate uh, equals because we can uh, get the different observation okay for the first reaction okay if we have a silver nitrate ion okay in the uh, test tube then we we drop okay a few drops of sodium chloride okay in the solution and what we get is okay now we can write the equation right okay so we will get uh, silver chloride okay so we will get silver chloride which is insoluble salt here okay and then okay the another one is silver nitrate which is the soluble salt so the observation is when we get the white precipitate okay of silver chloride all right so this is the first observation okay so this is the overall equation involved right okay or the ionic equation okay we must uh, write like this lah okay chloride ion plus silver ion so it will form the insoluble salt of silver chloride which is white precipitate okay the second one is i use bromide ion all right the second halide i use bromide ion okay which is i drop it into the silver ion solution which is it come from the silver nitrate solution all right so now is what is the uh, product form so i just write the ionic equation here okay when we pour into the silver ion so we will get the insoluble salt of silver bromide and this uh, solid this precipitate is cream colored precipitate Okay, when we want to write the full chemical equation is we will write like this, right? And then here is the ionic equation. Okay, information of silver bromide. Okay, and the third halide is iodide ion. Then when I drop, okay, if we drop into the silver ion solution, okay, so we will get that iodide we plus the silver ion. So we will get silver iodide precipitate okay so this color okay is a yellow precipitate
color so this is how we differentiate of the three different highlight by looking the color of precipitate form okay for silver nitrate okay here are the full uh, equation okay of sodium iodide react with silver nitrate to form sodium nitrate and silver iodide precipitate okay and this is the ionic equation okay like i wrote just now let we complete the blank chart here right now is uh, when chloride ion is react with silver nitrate so what is the precipitate we get is silver okay chloride solid okay so this uh, color is a white precipitate lah okay white precipitate Alright, and then the second halide is bromide. When we react with silver nitrate, we will get silver bromide solid. And this color is a cream precipitate. Okay, cream precipitate. And the third halide here is iodide ion. Then when we react with silver nitrate solution, so we will get silver iodide uh, precipitate. Okay, which is the color is a yellow precipitate okay then uh, okay class you can color the the box uh, here according to the uh, its color for further test to confirm the present of uh, halide ion okay we will use uh, dilute ammonia and concentrated ammonia okay, into the precipitate form okay so we will get the different observation of the three Highlights involved. Alright. Okay. Okay. Now let's say that the product form, which is white precipitate of silver chloride. Okay. I divide the precipitate into two test tube. Okay. So now is I want to test it further using ammonia. Okay. The first one is I using the dilute ammonia. Okay. And then I drop uh, into the silver chloride precipitate. Okay, and then the second one is I uh, drop the concentrated okay, of ammonia okay, into the silver chloride precipitate. Then, what would happen? Okay, what is the observation here? Okay, okay, refer to our chem book that it will dissolve readily in dilute ammonia solution. Okay, and concentrated ammonia as well. To form colorless solution of silver complex, okay, which is both, okay, both, okay, we form colorless silver complex, which is we call this complex compound as a diamine, okay, diamine, okay, silver, okay, one ion. Okay, this compact we will uh, learn further in uh, transition element chapter. Okay, so now is this is the product form. Okay, which is we can see the colorless solution will be observed. Okay, for the both solution, right? So both okay, are diamine silver. Okay, diamine silver one ion. Okay, so this is the product form for both. Okay, for second highlight, okay, which is uh, from the cream precipitate form of silver bromide. Okay, I divide into two test tube. Okay, now the first one I want to test it. Okay, using dilute ammonia. Right. Okay, and then the third one, uh, the second one. Okay, I want to test it using concentrated, okay, ammonia. Okay, so what is the observation of both? Right, for the first one, okay, refer to our chem book here. Okay, insoluble in dilute ammonia. Okay, but it will dissolve in concentrated ammonia solution. Okay, to form diamine silver one ion. Okay, to form the complex compound so for dilute okay for dilute it will remain as a silver bromide here go okay for dilute it will remain okay as a silver bromide uh, precipitate okay but for concentrated ammonia so it will form 
colorless solution right it will form colorless solution okay which is uh, this colorless solution is a diamine okay diamine silver one onion okay so this is the observation which is this one is the colorless solution okay and with dilute ammonia for bromide ion if we get the uh, same product which is insoluble with the ammonia okay for the third highlight okay when uh, we want to for the test with ammonia so now i take the uh, yellow precipitate or silver iodide and then i divide it into two test tube okay for the first test tube i want to test it using dilute ammonia okay the second one i want to test using concentrated ammonia so what is the product when using silver iodide okay refer to our can book here it insoluble in both dilute and concentrated ammonia solution okay means that it will remain okay both are insoluble with silver iodide okay means that it will remain as a okay both are remain as a yellow precipitate okay yellow precipitate of silver iodide okay which is insoluble all right so this is the observation okay of the three highlight okay now class let me complete Okay, the box here. Alright, so for the first highlight, chlorine, chloride ion. When when we react with silver nitrate, we get uh, silver chloride precipitate, which is white precipitate. And now when we react with both dilute ammonia and concentrated ammonia, both are soluble. Alright, it's soluble. Both are soluble in ammonia. So which is we get the diamine. Okay, diamine silver ion. Alright, and both lah same ah. Alright, so both are same. Okay. Okay, and then for uh, silver bromide, which is cream precipitate. Okay, of silver bromide uh, precipitate. When we react with both dilute and concentrated, we know that it insoluble. In dilute ammonia so it will react with the concentrated ammonia which is it will soluble okay so what is the product form is the colorless solution of diamine silver one ion right and then the third one the third highlight is when we react the both ammonia into the silver iodide which is yellow precipitate silver iodide so both are in soluble okay both are in soluble which is it's remain as a yellow precipitate okay so we are done with the reaction okay of halide okay with aqueous silver ion and with ammonia <music>